Okay, so here's my problem. My TV is an older Hitachi 42 inch from like 2006, 2007, 2008, somewhere around that time. And right now I have it on uh, HDMI mode 4, which is uh, 1280 by 720 at um, 60 hertz. And I've got disable overscan 1 on. And so basically, this is how my TV plays a um, 720p like input. It basically overscans on all four edges, and um, the um, oh, and the only thing that can be done to this image uh, on the TV is zooming into it, which doesn't help because it's already overscanned. And so, when I go to play a video, well, let's turn the volume down so it doesn't like all of a sudden player. Um, so when I go to play a video, um, um, this doesn't make a difference on like a lot of videos because you don't like you don't know where the camera edge is. But for like uh, let's plays where you actually know the edge of the screen, uh, you can see it. Um, so you can see that. Um, the bottom's cut off, and on the actual stream, it's down here, just like because the TV's cutting off. And I can, and so I can go into the uh, config.txt, and I can do the overscan, um, the overscan settings that work for my TV that get it to fit the screen. Uh, so. 12A by 720 at 60 hertz, and the overscan that ends up being uh, 1214 by 690. It's weird, I know. So I save that and reboot. Doop, doop. And let the TV reboot. And so it comes back up and it fits because I've tweaked the overscan settings to get it to fit to like that was just a bunch of like editing it by like one or two and then rebooting and then rebooting and then editing it again judging by eye and getting it down to something that fits. And so even though this fits it's basically squeezing the image down to like it's still outputting a 720p image but the the area it's drawing onto is only 12 uh, 12 port 12 14 by 690 so when you go to oh I need to relaunch this session uh, restart so when you go to play the video and let it load. It's it's going through, it's getting the internet through an old um, WRT 54G, so it's not exactly the fastest. It still overscans because it's still outputting on the full res that the Pi is outputting, 1280 by 720, which the TV overscans. And the, um, where's the remote? Ah, uh, dang it. And the TV, it's not very fancy, so you get color settings, and you can get all those adjusts, but you don't get regular, it kind of reloads when you do that, but there's, um, see, because See, the Pi is outputting 1280 by 720 at um, 60 hertz. And so, eh, wrong button. But there's nothing to, um, and that's just to um, move the screen because it's a plasma. And so that basically shifts the screen just a little bit to um, prevent a little bit of burn in. But yeah, so no matter how I adjust that, it always overscans, and, and and if you output 1080p to the TV, 
which it's only like really a 1080 TV, but it's still it still overscans. Like the texture is just a bunch smaller, but it's still about the same amount of overscan. So um, that's about it. Um, in XBMC, we I usually first run it on like something. Well, actually, it fits on the computer because it knows the size it's outputting. But like on the Apple TV um, two, which is outputting 12 by 720. And on this, when I uh, did a uh, Open ELAC and RASPMC SD cards, uh, XBMC has the option to, at the very beginning, it'll output just like this. It'll cut off all four corners. And then XBMC has the option to manually adjust the video down to where it fits within the viewport. And so, And so it just match, so it fits, and that's kind of what the Pi is doing right now with just the normal terminal. Oop. Um, so it's outputting the full 1080p video. So there's like, the Pi is, I think, technically drawing the, uh, the unviewable portion, but it's also drawing the part you can see because of the custom overscan going from here to here. So um, that's about it. Um, don't know what else to do. See ya.